Okay, so this is the guitar lesson for um, Archangel by uh, Samurai from Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, this song is in drop D, so you just need to tune your low E string down. And now, once you get tuned down to drop D, we can actually get started with the whole song. Um, so first would be the intro riff. So um, how you play this riff, you start with the power chord at the, the fifth fret of the A. You hit it twice and then you go down to the third fret. So it... Then you hit the open E, A and D string is just an open chord. Because you're in drop D, so. Back to this third fret power chord. And then you bar the third fret this time. And then the ending little dissonance chord is the pointer finger on the second fret of the low E string, middle finger on the third fret of the A string. whole um, beginning of the riff should sound like this. And the second half starts off the same as the first, so it does that same thing, but once you get to this power chord right here, after you play that, instead of um, going to the third fret and barring it the second time, you go from this chord and you slide it up to the eighth fret power chord. So. And then there's the little lick at the end that's all on the A string. And uh, what you do is you play the seventh fret of the A once. And then the eighth fret three times. And you go back to the seventh once. And then down to the third fret. So it would sound like this. And that's basically like the tail end of it. And then the riff repeats from there. Um, so that's basically the whole entire riff. It just repeats. So uh, on to the main. Okay, so the main riff um, starts on the third fret of the A power chord. You, put, you play that, you slide it up to the fifth fret, but you alternate pick it while you're doing it. Then you accent the first and last notes of that little phrase. So it should be. You should get that down. And um, after that, it moves on to a little palm muted pattern on the low E string. So uh, it goes like this. So that would be um, two times open, once on the fifth fret, three times open, five times picking this um, note on the third fret. So, but on that fifth time, you hammer on really quickly to the third or the fifth fret. I mean, sorry. So slowly, that would be. That's how that little pattern goes. Down, then you go down on the the A string on the third fret. That that plays right after the little palm pattern, so it'd be. And then lastly, the for this first half of the riff, 
that little thing. So that's on the, the D string, the third fret of the D string. So you play that three times, and then down to the um, second fret of the D string. You can pick it or you can do a pull off, doesn't really matter. Or doesn't matter. Then to the, the third fret of the A, then you pull off. And that's it for the first half of the riff. And then the second half of the riff, it starts the same as the first. But whenever it gets to the palm meeting pattern, it's uh, a little different. It's a little shorter than the first one. It does the um, open twice, fifth once, open three times, but it doesn't go down and palm mute the third fret this time. Instead, it goes to end the, the end the second half of the riff and it would do just power chord kind of rhythm down. So that's two times on the eighth fret, once on the seventh, once on the fifth, and once on the third. It's barring I'm doing the chords. So that second half of the riff would sound like this. So that's pretty much it. Now is like the, the build up to the, the breakdown riff. Okay, so there's a lot of sliding in this riff. So um, there's like a little, uh, it's a pattern that just repeats over and over again. And you start with these same two chords as the last riff. And these chords are used a lot in this song, as you notice. But uh, um, uh, you go from the third fret, slide up to the fifth, and then you hit it again. So it'd be, and then you do another one of these slides from the third fret to the fifth to end the pattern. So together the little pattern would be, again. And that just basically repeats like over and over again um, faster. And then leading into the next riff, it does this little octave thing, which is your pointer finger on the the B string of the sixth fret, and then your ring finger on the the D string of the eighth fret and you play that four times and then you slide it up two frets and you also do that four times and that's how the little riff ends leading into the main breakdown riff so we should get into that Okay, so bear with me. This next part is going to be kind of hard to explain, for me at least, because um, I'm not much of a guitar teacher. Um, so uh, it starts on the eighth fret. You accent those two notes twice, bar chord, and then it goes into like a little palm muted pattern. And that palm muted pattern would be eight, seven, open. So that's what it sounds like um, put together. Those two accent notes and the palm muted parts. After that open palm mute, you go down to the eighth fret and accent those those two notes, those two chords. Then you palm mute after that. That way I can kind of keep the rhythm going and my hand moving because the timing is a little weird. So together that would be. And after that last um, palm mute note, you hit the open strings twice. So it'd be. And after that, you follow that with um, three palm mutes, open twice. So it'd be. Then you palm mute it three times again. 
And instead of hitting the open um, chord twice, you hit it once. And you, you replace that, um, that last um, note. If you were going to play it like um, a second time, you replace that second note with the third fret bar chord. So... like that and then because it that chord leads it back into the second half of the riff which um starts with the same two accented notes on the eighth fret bar chord but this little palm muted pattern is different and that palm muted pattern and the second half would be eighth fret to the seventh fret to the fifth to the seventh to the fifth again then open so okay and then after that you go to the fifth fret and sorry that's the, that's the third i messed up don't don't copy that uh um the fifth fret we're already at the fifth fret but and it goes to that little um the little pattern which would be accent it twice palm muted accent the fifth fret again so the the second half um i'll play what we have for the second half so okay and the the tail end of this the um this half of the riff like the ending of it um slows down a bit so it's and uh, that would be twice open, once on the third fret, bar chord open, and you go down to the fifth fret power chord on the A string, and then you uh, hit the open strings again. So that little um, riff part would be, has that kind of flow to it. And uh, lastly, the last note of the the riff until it repeats again would be the third fret. So that way it leads back into the riff again to the beginning. So that, that from the ending of the second half back to the first half, whenever it repeats, it would be. And so forth, you know, because and the, the riff just basically repeats from there. Uh, I hope I explained it well enough. Uh, like I said before, I'm not that good of a teacher. So, well, that concludes it. That's the whole song. That's those are all the riffs. And uh, I'm sorry that it took me this long to actually make a lesson because <laughs> uh, I've been caught up with school stuff. Uh, but I actually, I I hope I actually taught y'all something and how to play this song. And I hope that um, I see more videos of people playing it. Cause it's really cool that people are wanting to learn these songs and from the game uh, it's a really cool thing to see but uh anyways i'll see y'all guys around thank y'all for watching and thank y'all for uh for making me <laughs> make this lesson so uh yeah i'll see y'all around peace out